Welcome back to the channel. From the title, you're probably wondering well, how destructive are heifers? Well, you're about to find out. So we have a pallet here with some goodies. Metal pieces that are U-shaped or they don't go the whole way around. It almost looks like they can go around a post. You can probably guess what we'll be fixing or repairing or trying to prevent something. So uh, first here we'll we want to clean up that alleyway so we're not working in some slop. Well, I'll hook up to the bucket here, go down, get some shavings, and clean up that alleyway. So this is the problem that we're uh, faced with here. Heifers are nosy and they want to bring the building down on top of them because it's just this and then you have trusses over there and these are the only supports that are holding this barn up I and mean, then you have the sides but the posts are over there, the trusses go from Yeah, the truss, yeah, you know what I meant. But. But there's yeah. one down yeah there's one down there that it's wore almost more than half and this is something should have been done right away we should have started doing this when we first spotted it but here we are doing it now so for each one of these we're sliding on this metal bracket on the post we'll fasten it to the post for these where the gate latches up we'll have to take off the hinge the latch here in order to put that on and then drill holes onto the piece of metal so we can put the gate latch back on. So it's gonna be a process. to do a nice job when you have the headlocks in the way. For people that do watch 10th Gen, they would be putting up a barn similar to this, except the only difference is, well, there might be some other differences, but this is slats and they have a pit underneath. We just scrape this, and then down there we call it the crap shack. Just push all the crap from the alleyway into there. Um, so that's like a difference I know. And who knows, maybe since it's a newer barn, maybe they will put something on like this to prevent this. Because it's insane. I mean, look how much wood is eaten away there. So my dad had to bring down some electricity so we can uh, 
drill through this metal here. That's going to take some time to drill through that metal, so I'm going to start working ahead and put on the posts that don't have the lashes on. sure if I heard my dad right these are called bags although I wanted to call them bolts whatever I'm stupid but anyway let's enjoy the last one two two four five six thirteen holes and then we're done Project is done. We'll see how these hold up. The only thing we're concerned about is the lower post here and then down there. I mean, it would have been more expensive to get this metal modified because we have these connectors for the headlocks in the way. But we'll see how they hold up. I'm hungry. My dad's hungry. We're hungry. So we're going to go get something to eat. So we got done eating lunch and we're going to start moving calves here. Uh, we have to start off with, I'm not sure if we have to move any out of that half a barn out front, move them back there. That might have been already done, uh, but if not, we'll have to do that. But then from there, we move heifers from this back transition barn that we just worked on to the front. And then we'll move heifers in the weaning barn to the transition barn. And then we can move calves from the calf barn to the weaning barn. So it's just a kind of a domino effect of moving uh, heifers. Like 10th gen says, heifer shuffle. Can't really take that from them though. Yup, yup, yup. Come on, ladies. Turn too early there. Come on. Yup. 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 Yup, 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 yup. Now this is probably the hardest thing to do here. So we're going to unload here in the corner door. 
might be a little awkward backing into it, but. Usually helps to hide. Well, she's excited to get out. Joining the rest of the female family here. This barn is fairly new. I'm not sure how old it is, but it's it's newer. I remember when they built this. So my dad's going to load these two pens over back into the transition barn. Meanwhile, I'm going to start cleaning out these pens for the calves that will be moving out of the hutches into these pens, if that makes sense. Um, and then we're gonna bed up all these pens because you can probably tell they're messy. So. so I got that and started there. I'm gonna back up the spreader and load that up a while. Looks like this could be pressure washed sometime in the future here. We have this 7720 eco tuned for like 230 some horse, this thing runs pretty strong. I'm not sure what the stock horse is. I can't, it'd probably be around 200, but my dad would know. So we have a little bit left, that's loaded. Maybe I could have fit a little bit more, but I don't really care, I'm going down, I'm not hauling far, so. But yeah, I'll clean up around here and some other spots. I'll use a shovel from up there and finish up this pen. My GoPro has battery life, so I'll see you guys when I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. My dad's gonna clean out these hutches and me and my cousin Mitch are gonna feed. But again, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Don't know what you're waiting for. And uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.